of students so basically to start with this the four prop method first uh, and this is uh, not so important about the theory so basically in this we say one thing that our result is see what is the formula of resistance resistance equal to rho into l by a so basically you know the resistance equal to rho into l by a so basically see uh, there are also uh, you know this also from the rho equal to rho not bracket uh, by f bracket w by s you know also this formula and you also know that rho not equal to v by i into 2 by s so basically see what is the temperature hmm, the resistance of temperature how can the get the band gap so this experiment is to basically to find out the band gap that is easy so rho equal to a exponential of e d by 2 k t ok so what we have to find out here is that go to the procedure part ok and this procedure is written that what we have to set the temperature or what we have to set the current that I will tell you when I am going to do the experiment so basically if I go into the table see that here it is in the going to know the temperature the voltage the current the resistivity and all other ok so basically uh, see this it is said that the distance between the probe is 0 0.2 is the S value this S value and the W value is 0 0.025 and F by S is this so from that we can find out the F6 value ok but not needed to find because F W by S is always given ok so if you want you can find out so basically here is to find out the resistivity rho hmm. ok and what is the aim of this experiment here the aim of the experiment is written wrong the aim of the experiment is that we have to find out the band gap of this experiment ok so to find out the band gap of the experiment is very simple that band gap of the experiment is to be find out by band gap equals to 2 into k k is the Boltzmann constant into let's see into what you know hmm? into the slope that we are getting from the graph ok we have to calculate the graph and now we have to say the slope so basically if you say that the stimulator part see the stimulator part is this first is the material to be germanium first you have to set the material to be germanium then you have to set the range with 20 ampere 20 milli ampere sorry 20 milli ampere then we set the current to 4.8 where is the 4.8 here we have got the 4.8 and this current should be constant now whenever you click on the cross section you see that this is the probe 1 this is the probe 2 this is the probe 3 and this is the probe 4 ok now you click on the this 10 volt and put to set if I set this this all the process become ready but we have to choose now from where the temperature should go it is on 25 and from wha how much it should go and so let's set it to 95 ok then when I click on this run when I will click on this run bottom so it will be showing that the temperature is increasing from 25 and it will increase by 1 by 1 and I will take the reading and you also take the reading after 2 difference ok so let's run it and to stop the reading but to note that reading we have to click on wait so that will wait for some time and after clicking on run it will again run let's see the demo so I have click here to run it is 25 become 26 and 27 and I have stop here uh, sorry it becomes reading because the don't make this mistake and uh, and you can vary is it not a mistake 
you can vary it by 3 you can vary it by 2 but don't make it a board because it's a huge difference you can vary it by a 3 so basically if you vary it by 3 it's okay okay so note the voltage setting it will be decreasing then you have wait then again click on the run then it will again run then i will increase by 3 then it will be 31 and then i stay on wait you again note that you see that it is decreasing it will decrease one by one okay the graph you, you will get i am showing you the graph you will put the you will see the excel file the graph you will get that is between the log row the row that we are you are finding out by this see one one minute see so this is the table ultimate table that you will be finding out serial number temperature the in celsius so finally you have to convert the temperature in kelvin then you have to measure the voltage see it is decreasing see it is continuously decreasing then it is current then you have to find out the row. So what is the row? This is the specific resistance, resistivity. This is the specific resistivity. So resistivity is given by V by I into 2 pi into S. And what is the specific resistivity? Huh? That is nothing but rho naught by F by W by S that we have seen there and W by S the value is given there 5.89 so divide it to give itself then then do ln of rho not log base of rho is equal to ln of rho then do ln of rho and then do 1 by T this T which are that it is in Kelvin take that T ok put the graph between two this between these two put the graph if we put the graph between these two you will surely get a in a excel file you will surely get a graph like this ok you will surely get a graph like this so if we get a graph like this so how to measure the slope because in the in the how in the laptop you will measure the slope so to measure the slope take the pointer on that line double click it then again double click it so now see when you have take the pointer to this certain point on a line see that a value is coming 0 0.0031 and it is 1.807 and take the point again to a certain point 0 0.00301 1.643 so if we mine if we differentiate it so we will get the slope according to the point ok so as soon as you get the slope you will go into the theory pa procedure part one second and uh, we will calculate the table I have shown after that after the after for S is nothing but the 0 0.2 so after that you have to get the slope remember one formula that is g equal to 2 into k is g equal to 2 into k into slope ok so my main objective is the write in the comment box that what the value of the slope you are getting hmm. and the result instead written as resistivity of a given con semiconductor by 4 probe don't write this write this as the ba the energy band gap of a certain semiconductor by four probe is dash centimeter is dash sorry is dash electron volt okay so basically one thing to note that you have to convert the Boltzmann energy constant into energy volt how you can convert into energy volt the energy volt is nothing by only dividing by 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 and read on to this procedure again okay hmm. 
you can find out by this but there is no mention of such flow so use my formula you will get a sure answer please comment in the comment box the what answer you will get then i will surely reply definitely reply please share and please subscribe if you like this video and any wrong please mention in the comment box thank you